With a new administration comes stocks that should move. What industries should move under this administration? This week, we'll take a look at a couple of industries that may move, and marijuana is one of them. Is it the prime time to buy? If so, which ones? <laughs> Growth generation gains 10% after lifting guidance. Uh, growth generation gap of ETF, it misses by 11. Revenue, 55 million, beats by 7.63 million in revenue. Well, so let me tell you, I, I got a lot of marijuana stocks that I'm looking at. All right, I'm going to put, I got them all on my watch list. This, you say you a lot of marijuana. I, why are you going to say that I had a lot of marijuana? <laughs> Listen, that ain't the case. Let's not do it again. That's not what I'm saying. I ain't saying I got a lot of marijuana. That's not... You got a lot of marijuana. Nah, stocks. Listen, marijuana stocks are good. At least that's what a friend told me. <laughs> are marijuana stocks good? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> all right, so with that being said, all right, with that being said, um, the Venkat just said something that was interesting. One of the reasons why marijuana stocks is moving, I think that... With the president-elect, um, the Democrats, you know, and again, I don't like I don't like talk about politics, but this does lay into marijuana stocks and why they're moving. They are looking to decriminalize marijuana, and if that's the case, I was looking you know, as the votes were coming in for president. I was looking at some of the referendums. A lot of people are on board with legalizing marijuana, and marijuana stocks are blowing the doors off. So. This was the only story that I had. I think I had another story, but for some reason or another, uh, I'm missing it. My own fault. I, I could blame Joey, but I'm not going to. Let's go first. All right. What's the number one stock in our list by way of VST? Growth generation. Marijuana stock. Canopy growth for this in here. Oh, I remember. I know the story and why we didn't get it, but it was that APHA, Afria, buying up Sweetwater. All right, uh, the brewery company, and that was the third company that I saw that had a combination of marijuana along with a brewery or some kind of a drink company. Molson Golden did it, um, and another company did it with, um, I think, Aurora or CGC, uh, Canopy Growth. All right, um, so there is something that's going along with marijuana and putting out, do you remember when energy drinks first came out on the scene? They took off, Monster was in, and they took off, and Five Hour Energy and all of this. I think the same kind of phenomenon is gonna happen with marijuana, um, with marijuana type stocks into drinks as well. All right, Constellation Brands, thank you, John. That was the third company, Constellation Brands, uh, paired up with a marijuana company as well. I am thinking that Joey's going to be drinking a lot of marijuana drinks. <laughs> you know, once they come out, he's going to be supporting them. He really is. So me, on the other hand, I don't do that kind of stuff. Not me. Can't talk to me. But I don't do that kind of stuff. All right, what else is in my list? I've got MJ, which looks at the whole industry. I want you to take a look at that when I get there. All right, what else is in it? There's Alfria. Um, there's Aurora Cannabis. There's Tilray. These are my one, two, three, four, five Five stocks and one ETF on the whole industry. Analyze them real quick. Growth generation, overvalued. Canopy growth, overvalued. I still think that even with the referendum coming in, a lot of these companies have been overvalued because um, the lack of de de uh, uh, decriminalizing them. All right, uh, Afria. Actually, slightly overvalued, uh, trading at 547, value of 415, 416. Aurora, very close to its value. That's one that price and value are pretty close to each other. Tilray, till way, way over theirs as well. All right, relative value. Which ones of these stocks have good upside potential? Growth generation, RV at one, uh, 1.37. That's the only stock in the list that's got good upside potential. Hmm. Which is the safest stock in here? Looks like growth generation as well. We have relative safety at 0 0.96. It's still below one. Which ones are moving up? Just about all of them. Relative timing on growth is at 1.74. On CGC, 1.55. 
on Alfria, 1.04, and the two that are lagging behind are ACB and Tilray. When I look at ACB and Tilray, our indicators are below one across the board. Whereas if I look at growth generation, good upside potential, and uh, moving up in price, it's a little riskier stock. Now, something else I want to take a look at. How about growth generation grows their earnings at a clip of 45% a year? That's huge. All right. Now, let me go take a look at these stocks on the graph. All right. I'm giving you the perspective of which ones of these, from a marijuana perspective, you should consider. Put this on a three-month graph. Look at growth generation. Look at growth generation. Look at that trend line moving up. I'm going to make that line a little darker. That's the epitome of an upward trending stock. Above the 20-day exponential moving average, a lot more than below. It took a hit for the last couple of days, but now rebounding nicely. Look at that relative timing. If I'm going to look for a stock to get into in this industry, I like its upside potential. I like that it's in an uptrend. I love that they grow their earnings at a clip of 45% a year. This is a stock that I really like in this space. It's only 25 bucks. I would be in it 12 cents higher than the high right now. And notice that even when the stock pulled back down, it still stayed above that 20-day exponential moving average. I like that. That's a stock in this industry I like. What's the next stock? CGC had a little bit of a pullback in the first month and a half of this three-month graph. But then since then, as the marijuana industry has grown, so is CGC. Watch the relative timing. It is above one, but pulling back a little bit. As the stock is pulling back, it is still above the 20-day exponential moving average. MJ, this looks at the whole industry. If you didn't know that there was an ETF that tracks the marijuana industry, here it is, MJ. Now, I like that as we were getting closer, and I want, to, I want you to see this. As we were getting closer and closer to the election, there's 11.5, there's 11.4, here's 11.3. As we got 11.4, 11.5 into getting closer to um, saying who the president was going to be, knowing that it was going to be Biden, marijuana stocks took off. Then they pulled back a little bit, as you can see right now. Overall, this is the whole industry. Still above the 20-day exponential moving average. Watch RT. I'm going to say keep your eye on MJ to watch the whole entire industry. But when I look at a stock like uh, GRWG, this is definitely telling me it's a leader in the industry. All right, what's the next stock? Alfria, a lot more uh, jagosity, a lot more volatility in this stock. Whereas the GRWG, the growth stock, was a lot more steady in its price movement. Afria, buying Streetwater, buying the brewery, uh, which should be done by the end of the year, by the way, uh, a little bit more jagged in its price. If you're going to get into a stock especially that's a little bit more speculative, make sure you're looking at a stock like GRWG. I'm not going to tell you not to get into Afria. It is above the 20-day exponential moving average, but look at the conviction of the volume. It's starting to pull back. All right, just keep that in mind. Next one, ACB. Wow, a lot more downward move on it. It did pop up with the rest of the marijuana stocks did, but as it's pulling back, it's pulling harder back than some of the mar other marijuana stocks is as well. Not Def, not as good a choice as some of the other stocks that we've looked at in the last one. Tilray, uh, actually bumping up as well, but look at the pullback. So I want you to look at all of these stocks that are pulling back. Let's go back up to GRWG. It pulled back, but look how quickly it responded to go back up. If I'm looking at a stock in this space, GRWG is definitely a stock that I want to look at. All right. Someone keeps telling me Planet 13. What the flying flip is Planet 13? <laughs> Planet 13. What is that? Is that another weed stock? Yep, it's healthcare marijuana. Somebody says it's killing it. Um, you see the you see the jagicity in this one as well. GRWG is probably it for me. But look at the value. Look at below the 20-day exponential moving average. Look at the time RT below one. Again, my suggestion is looking at both the analysis on the stock and the graph on the stock. GRWG is the way to go. GRDG is, the, is, I like that. Paul says GRWG, the Home Depot for weed growers. I like that stock. I like that stock. So Planet 
13, not nearly as good as some of the other stocks that we looked at. A little bit more volatile in the move. But you know something? As long as you're willing to play the volatility, that's up to you. That's up to you. I right, totally up to you. Uh, could you, um, I again, uh, I'll just leave that alone. UX. All right, any other questions? If that's not, if there's no other questions, I'm going to keep on moving. Um, if you like the content that you've seen here so far today, folks, hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Let me know that you like the analysis. Uh, Catherine says, on August 11, Glenn gave us a recommendation on GRWG. It was selling at 941. It's up over 170% the past three months. Thank you, Catherine. I love that. I keep looking at the wrong place for the camera. I, Joey moved my camera. But Catherine, thank you for paying attention to that. I don't always like to pat myself on the back, but thank you for that, Catherine. Um, that means that She's getting some information out of it. And, and you know something? This stuff is not coming off of my head. I'm using the software to analyze this stuff. I'm using the software to analyze what you're looking at. Hey, if you like this content, guess what? You can join us live every Thursday at 2 p.m. here on YouTube. Join VV Nation. We hope to see you there.